Hi, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm just on a little walk. I got Nala and Dudley with me. So I got Dudley on the lead. Um, he's just learning, or relearning, I should say, because he knows what he should do, he just doesn't always do it, um, to walk on a loose lead. Nala! <whistles> Nala! Nala! I got a really bad throat, so I can't really shout. But Nala keeps running off after squirrels. Good girl. So she gets deadly. You're not loose yet. So she gets a treat for coming back. <laughs> I get deadly again. So with loose lead walking, a lot of people think you've got to give your dog a loose lead for them to walk on a loose lead. But for me, a loose lead means a light lead. Sorry, my dog treat pouch is in the way. Um, but Dudley's actually on a really light contact, but he's on a short lead. Because if I give him a long lead, as I'll show you now, he's gonna go ahead of me. And now you can start to see the tension in the lead. And you can see him start to pull, you can see his gait change because he's just pulling on me. Yeah, and he knows when he pulls and I stop, he's gotta come back to me. Good boy. So, Dudley doesn't always like treats on a walk. Um, so I just got to verbally praise him. He does have a tennis ball. So when he's been really good, he can go off the lead and have his tennis ball. But he's just got to learn just to be good. And if I stop and if I say sit, he sits. Good boy, Dad. Good boy. And you can still see his tail still wagging. So he's not worried by the training. So <coughs> there's a golf course just up there. And the dogs aren't supposed to go on the golf course. So that's why I'm keeping uh, Dudley on the lead as well. Not only does he need a bit of practice on walking on a loose lead, but it's to make sure they don't go on the golf course when I can't shout with a bad throat. So um, Nala's gone across the bridge already. So it's not just like walking. I'd like to maybe change direction and go back the way I came. You can see he's a bit like, what the hell? And he actually needs more pulling now because we're going the wrong way in his mind than if we go the right way. But I still want the control. Um, and with a dog as well, um, I'd suggest you walk in the middle of the path because if you walk on the outside, Nala! Come on, good girl. Good girl. Um, yeah, so if you walk on the outside of the path, then they'll smell where other dogs have marked and uh, more likely to pull you and stop you and stay. Sit. 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 Dudley, sit and stay. She's off the lead now. Ah, uh -uh, stay. Sit. Good boy and stay. So I'm not obviously not going to leave him. Ah, ah, Dudley. Wait. Come on in, good boy. So it's just a way of keeping him in control. So it's a really wet and miserable day. Yeah. Nala, Dad's this way. Come on, this way, quick. Come on. Dads, come on. Guys, I don't like them doing. Just running off up the hill, way ahead of me. So uh, I just try and pretend I'm changing direction so they don't do this. Nala, Dads. Nala, dead! Should have brought my whistle because I can't shout. So, Dudley's come back so he can have his tennis ball. Here, dads! What's this? Go get it, dads! Good boy, dads! Come here! Ready?
good boy, dads. So fetch is really good to tire them out. For a dog like Dudley, he's very, very intense for his ball. Um, you can see how excited he is just because I'm walking <coughs> with a tennis ball. Speak. Good boy. But it just means he stays a bit closer. Come here. Good boy. So it's a good recall technique. I can see Nala up ahead. Um, so for me, I just like to keep at least one in sight. Ideally two. Um, the trouble is, all these paths are twisty, turny, lots of cover. Um, so it's not always easy to keep the dogs in sight. Um, in some ways, Dudley's easier. He goes a bit slower because he's scenting and sniffing and marking. Whereas Nala tends to just run on the hunt for squirrels. Um, so, yeah, Dudley goes slower. You can see he knows I got a tennis ball, so every so often he checks to see if I've got it out of the doggy bag. Um, I keep it in a doggy bag as well, um, just so Nala's treats don't get wet. Dudley's allowed treats, but he never ever wants one to walk, just in case people are thinking. I'm a bit mean when you're treating Nala. Nala, come here! So, I'll show you. Dudley does not want a treat. Nala, come here! There's Nala. Always does. Um, and it's sometimes quite nice out on walks to do little tricks just to make sure you can get them to listen to you. Anyway, bag. Bag. Uh -uh, that's rubbish. Bag. No. Stay on your bottom and bag. Bag. Uh -uh. Good girl. You see that for a bag. Good girl. She can hold it quite well. Good girl. Uh, Nala's the best for listening out on walks and doing tricks because she is the most food orientated dog I think I've ever met. Um, Dudley's pretty good for a tennis ball, but he can get a bit too excited for a tennis ball. And then he throws about a hundred different tricks at you. Um, Cause he's so excited. He can't actually focus on what you're doing. So, um, yeah, this video isn't gonna be too long because as you can hear, my chest and my throat isn't great. Um, it's giving me a nice deep voice though. Um, so I'll leave it here, unless something interesting comes up. Bye.